Good evening, randomizer fans, and welcome to Final Fantasy Randomizer Spring Tournament Bracket Preview. My name is Lord Fizzlebeep. Joined with me in the booth is Danny. How's it going, Danny? Having a spectacular day, so it's going real well. <laughs> also, real glad you did that intro because, like, I couldn't, I couldn't have pulled that off. That's fine. We have many fun surprises in store today. I mean, not that many fun surprises. We have su we have a non-zero number of surprises in store today. But first, let's do bid record keeping stuff. Let's remember the things. So first off, uh, Burt Reynolds is running a predictions betting kind of game thing over in ST Predictions 2022. Uh, go ahead and check it out. Um, no, no real pressure. It's just for fun. Just see if you can make the numbers go as high as possible. Uh, second thing, please, 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 try not to schedule every single one of your races on the same day if possible. Please try to spread them out just a teensy little bit if you guys are able to. It makes it so much easier for trying to wrangle race crew and for not making them miserable. So, as you well, are... <laughs> I was gonna say, you take if you want to do all your races in one day, you're welcome. Go nuts, do all two to three. Just if there's a bunch of other races scheduled at the same time, mm -hmm. if you can, maybe pick another day. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. We might have had a day or two during pods where we had like nine races in one day and they were 30 minutes apart for mm -hmm. like three hours or four. And it's, it's a little rough. So, so if you can, we'd mm -hmm. appreciate it if you just take a peek at the schedule before you schedule your things. If you can't, we understand. Just appreciate it. So, um, also, heard y'all loud and clear, you really want the round of 32 to be two weeks. Sure, we can go for that. However, uh, there was some mention made of possibly doing uh, the other weeks, two weeks as well. Uh, what with that marathon thingy that we announced today, that's super awesome and y'all should check out. Kind of don't really have any more room to stretch out the schedule. So the round of 32 will be two weeks, but the rounds of 16, 8, and 4 will still be a single week. Uh, and the finals will be from the 6th to the 16th, which is 10 days, which hopefully that is good enough. Um, you know, it can run a little bit over if we want to, but uh, we kind of want to leave room for the marathon to just kind of be and do its thing. And yes, I saw also, you, Devious, that you're going immediately <laughs> after this. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, but also, if the round of four gets done early, and there's still room in that week that is, like, slotted for the round of four for the finals, you are more than welcome to start finals before the sixth. Mm -hmm. and uh, also, one more note before we get into things. Oh, no, I just want to... I know mm -hmm. it's up there, but current plan... No restreams of game one. And that is because it's a lot of races and we want to give kind of race crew a bit of a break before we get super busy with, you know, the top getting into the fight towards the finals. Mm -hmm. If you want your game one restreamed or any of your games for that matter, if you want to put your own crew together, you're more than happy to. And if when you schedule game one, if you have a crew, let me know and I will gladly put it on a channel. Otherwise... <laughs> no restreams unless like somebody comes out of the woodwork and wants the bicky one. Mm -hmm. Just so everybody knows. Yep. And with that, let's move on bracket hype. We're just gonna take these in the order I put them into the slideshow in. Race one, spell zap versus Luffy. This one, uh Luffy is my boy. Luffy is my friend. Luffy is an honorary firefighter. Uh he has himself a challenge. Uh, <laughs> this this one pains me a little, mm -hmm. just a little, mm -hmm. because you look like Luffy's my boy, and I'm like they're both my boys. I got <laughs> I got Luffy, fellow firefighter. I got Spells at my co-op partner <laughs> for ever, mm -hmm. and yeah, this is not okay. <laughs> that and poor Luffy. First round of brackets, two years in a row gets a like. What do you got against the Crescent Lake Party Planners? Me last year, spells up this year. Like, dude, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we were tight. You just taking us out mm -hmm. and in co-op. I don't like this. 
spells up challenging his opponent to thief white mage in the chat don't do it luffy it's a trap as we move on <laughs> oh too late. oh oh he already oh god god speed <laughs> young lad okay match number two we got cheesinator versus life reboot so cheesinator has been in the community for a good long while i have raced him a great many times and probably lost to him about as often as I've beat him. Life Reboot is one of the more recent runners, and I think this is going to be a lot more competitive than the seeding implies. I think that, um, I think, I think this is going to be one of the ones to watch. I, I expect greatness out of this one. You heard it, guys. Don't let him down. He expects <laughs> rightness. Match number three, we got Demon Frog versus Not Young Me. <laughs> uh, Demon Frog, honorary firefighter, has been in the community basically as long as I have. Uh, Not Young Me, a new competitor that... The new competitors are the most dangerous ones because sometimes they develop these fun habits out of the duckling program that some of us old people aren't ready for, so... I think we might see an upset here, but I gotta root for my firefighter cohort. Yeah, uh, not like you said, not Yumi's new, but he got real good real fast, <laughs> and those people scare me. Mm -hmm. But also, fellow firefighter, so. <laughs> Race number three, we got Chanigan v. Sonirath. Chanigan has been in the community for a while and has beaten me something fierce on many an occasion. Sonny is one of the older guard. Sonny has been uh, around several years at this point, um, usually active in the tournament scene and usually where he does his best work. I think this is going to be interesting. I think that... I think the seeding is lying to us on this one. I think it's going to be a lot more even than this implies. I think I already know what they're up to for their reasons, and it's going to be a heck of a Monday. <laughs> yeah, if y'all got nothing else to do tomorrow, block mm -hmm. off a couple hours, because these two have already decided they're going at it all two to three races. <laughs> oh, shh. You're spoiling it. You spoiled it. Well, when you schedule it, they gotta know. That's fair. I mean, I'm not saying anything else. Match number next, we got Ganon's Gone Wild versus Angel FM. Ganon's Gone Wild, one of the uh, brave, terrible souls that volunteered to plan this infernal contraption. Uh, Angel FM, new to the community, I have not seen them race. But, like I said, the new people are the ones you gotta watch out for. Angel FM made it 2 and 1 through brackets, so I think Ganon's Gone Wild is gonna have. A heck of a fight on his hands here. Uh, Angel was in our tournament last year, and then seemed to take a bit of an F of our break, and then came back in the tournament this year and made brackets, so... Mm -hmm. This could be good. Also, I love that that cat looks like it's jumping through a hoop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Match number next, we got Devious RNG versus Dusk Plume. Uh, Devious, Arbiter at large, uh... I met him, he's very nice. Versus Duskplume has been in the community for a good long while. Not gonna lie, half the time when I read Duskplume, my dyslexia kicks in and I try to figure out if it's Dead Pulse or Duskplume that's talking. The duck icons have done a lot to help cure that for me, so thank you. So what I'm saying is probably comms on one of their races might be hard for you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Duskplume. Uh, they are real good. And, uh, like you said, also met Devious. Nice fella. Mm -hmm. Heck of a Connect Four player. We're not going to talk about how good he is at Connect Four as we move on to our next match. <laughs> <laughs> a certain, a certain Lorfin Borfin versus some guy named Dark Moon. Uh, the 16 seed versus the 17 seed. I'm going to take him. I'm gonna fight him. <laughs> Admins are going at it, y'all. Watch out! 
uh, and I had Ooh. a lot of fun Googling this stuff. I was going to say, <laughs> making this this morning was fun, but it's so much better again now <laughs> seeing it hours later. <laughs> <laughs> We move on to our next race. It's pickles and beer versus crab cakes. Uh, the winner of the last chance qualifier being sent up against the number one seed crab cakes. Uh, best of luck, pickles and beer. We're all counting on you. Please end the food based anime terror. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at the very least, I mean, the burger and pickles, they, they go to... That is true. They're, they're at least even on a culinary level. Pickled beer and a burger. Mm-hmm. We've made dinner. Mm-hmm. Now, here we go. We are at our first tie-breaking event. And how else do we t break ties around here but with a wheel? It really is the best way. Ready, steady, huh? Oh, there was supposed to be sound there, and there isn't. Oh. There, were, there was 8-bit music and everything, and AI voice read it as free teeth. Y'all missed it. It, I'm, anyway, I'm we did the thing. Did. I know. I'm. I mean, at least we got to hear it earlier. That's true. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> so we have Fry Teeth versus Phoenix Twenty Nine. The person who made it through the play-in race now gets to run back, <laughs> run it back. Now the wheel has spoken. The wheel done decreed it so. So, yeah, Fry Teeth, or Free Teeth as it's pronounced uh, by our robot overlords, is going to be taking on Phoenix 29. That's going to be great. Next up, we have Guardian Marcus versus Gouda, the 15 seed and the 18 seed going at it. Guardian Marcus has done well to hit the 18 seed, uh, definitely improved over previous tournament showings. Two and one in pods. I think I think Good is in for a rude awakening on this one, not gonna lie. I think earlier today when we were this was getting set up, I wish I would have thought to have you flip Guardian Marcus's picture. Mm -hmm. Cause then it looks like he's telling Gouda, bring it, and Gouda's <laughs> ever looking like he's ready for battle and it'd been great. And I'm <laughs> sad I didn't think about it. I mean Damn I, ha it. I have to put them in the order that they're in the brackets and my brain gets confused and I get lost. Next up, we have Dead Pulse v. Burt Reynolds. Dead Pulse is the number 10 seed, uh, current Duckling Dawn at large, versus Burt Reynolds, admin at large. This is going to be an interesting race. I feel like both of them have very similar skill sets. I think this is going to be interesting. And yes, yeah, shout outs to the low res cat. <laughs> yeah. I. I maybe they've spent a lot of time the last minute or so staring at that very blurry cat. Um, <laughs> I think this is a good matchup. I'd be lying if I said I would be terrified going up against Dead Pulse. I think he's probably ran more of these spring tournament seeds than everybody else combined. <laughs> Quite possibly. Mm -hmm. Next up, we got Wild Ham v. Serenus. Wild Ham, our newest. Uh, I believe our newest dev admin, or second newest dev admin, uh, going up against someone that has definitely uh, known their way around a spring tournament or two or three. Um, both of them very active in uh, in helping keep me on my toes with uh, regards to um, some of the rules for the spring tournament this year. Uh, interested to see how this works out. Siren, it's been a while. Really good player, good dude, helps out the Grace crew. I like Serenus. Wadham is the only one who made it out of my pod alive. <laughs> so, for that reason alone, I'm kind of pulling for him. Mm -hmm. Next up, we got Dangwoo v. Krellen, the cake boss himself, 
going up against uh, a two and one person that, if I recall correctly, Krellin took a game. No, Krellin did not take it. Krellin was the last race versus Demon Frog. You know, I've um, always really liked that picture of Dangwu, but right now it looks like he's about to beat somebody with a rolling bin. It's fine. All the, all right, all Krellin <laughs> has to do. That's not how we play FFR. All Krellin has to do is prevent Dang from getting access to Kate. Like, that's it. You're probably right. <laughs> Just completely throws him off his game. Match number next, we got Sho Fukumachi versus Papa Duke. Sho Fukumachi is, I believe, the only person in the tournament who has been around even longer than I have. Uh, very nice stand-up gentleman. Um, tends to come back around every tournament time versus Papa Dukes, one of our newer up-and-coming runners that definitely has learned quite a few quite a few things out of the Duckling program. I mean, I'm going to root for the old-timer, but I don't think the seeds are going to lie on this one. I think that overly weight-lifted duck mm -hmm. avatar mm -hmm. actually speaks a lot about the dukes. Because <laughs> newer, like, in the last year, but one of those, those people who came out ducks that I'm just scared of playing. Mm -hmm. But also, like you said, Joe's been around a while, and he's really good, and I think this is going to be a mm -hmm. really good race. Next up, we got... Goats Pirate v. Chad Burt. Now, I have had the opportunity to play a lot of AP games with Chad Burt, and while I have not had the opportunity to race much versus Goats Pirate, I have very much appreciated his custom artwork for the Hooray Dwarf and what he does with it. So, this is a race where, like, I feel like I have to cheer for both people. I, I agree. I appreciate like it's his his hooray art's good. <laughs> I'm not doing it because I don't like to kill the hooray dwarf, mm -hmm. but it is funny. Mm -hmm. Also, if you ever really want to know how many people have just kind of been through our duckling program <laughs> and are now really really good, just pay attention to their avatars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and next up, we got. Definitely, who I definitely said that last time, but the other one, versus Tetron. <laughs> so, Rubes v. Tetron is going to be, uh, the Center for Competitive Forfeiting is going to, uh, is going to represent here, but I don't, I think Tetron is going to give Rubes a run for his money. I think if we see some spicy flag sets come up, I think it's going to be a real barn burner. And let me just turn that off. Next up, that's it. Let's get <laughs> cracking, everyone. Uh -huh. uh, we have at Literally, least in like ten minutes. First yeah, race. Let's pre go. Pretty much. On, so, stay tuned, on this everyone. Channel. <laughs> um, reminders: uh, when you go to schedule, please try to keep in mind, like, try not to schedule races overlapping with everyone else. Pretty, 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 please. Um, and y'all got two weeks for this, for the round of 32, but after that, it's going to be single weeks until the final. So, yeah, I think that's about going to wrap it up. Danny, do you have anything else? I don't know. I think you basically covered it. Like you said, uh, just be, you know, just of the schedule and everyone else, my sanity and other <laughs> staff members and crew appreciate it. Um... <laughs> Again, unless you want to put together your own crew, we're not doing restreams of Games 1, at least for the round of 32. And yeah, like you said, Dust Plume and DVS going at it in like 10 minutes or so uh, mm -hmm. here on this channel. So stay tuned in and watch. Be real good. Yeah. Dang Wu's doing the restream. Probably doing comms. Dang's real good on comms. <laughs> probably solo comms. And Dang on solo comms. Even that's real good. Gotta love Wu. He's a man of many thoughts. Mm-hmm. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for us. Go enjoy the games. Go do the things. Bye. Bye.